Hello, this is Jim Snell, and today I'm going to show you about proper installation of the front wheel and the proper tightening of the front axle. It's a good idea to use either alcohol or typical carburetor cleaner to clean the interior surface where the front axle clamps to the lower fork leg. As you can see here, there was quite a bit of aluminum oxide in there. Always wear your protective gloves when using chemicals. Here we can see some aluminum oxide visible on the axle, so washing it also with the alcohol. The two front axle pinch bolts should be lubricated so that they go in and out smoothly. You can see here that there's a little bit of grease on the threads. Wash the disc rotor as well because you may be contaminating it with oil or grease from your hands. Lining everything up very carefully so as not to touch the interior surfaces of the fork leg with the dirty part of the axle. You screw it in there and you now have a clean axle that will go into a clean interior surface of the leg and then when you clamp it there will be less twisting action and a more secure fit and you don't need to over tighten that axle just snug is fine bounce the suspension up and down that makes sure that the fork leg is in its natural position then tighten the two clamping bolts left to right back and forth a little bit at a time and you don't need to over tighten these I honestly I've never used a torque wrench for any of this. It's just simply snug. If everything is clean, you're going to have a good clamp on this. You won't have any movement. Remembering to go back and forth across those as you snug them up. If you over tighten those pinch bolts, it's possible you can fracture that lower fork leg. And that's pretty much it. This is the proper way to do it, and I thank you very much for watching my video. Best regards, this is Jim Snell.